Osimertinib is approved uh, for patients uh, with non-small cell lung cancer who have, uh, who have the EGFR mutation, uh, and you know, could be X-19, uh, 21, that have already been treated with a tyrosine kinase inhibitor, and they have developed the resistant mutation T7IM, and, that, and with, that, uh, with these characteristics, they qualify to get osimertinib. Simertinib is an oral agent, is a tyrosine kinase inhibitor like the other ones, but is able to overcome the T9M resistant mutation. Uh, we give them once a day, uh, the dose is 80 milligrams, and uh, we prefer it, they don't take it with any food, and, uh, and we don't mix with any other pills or medications. When the patients are um, on TKI therapy and they fail, there is opportunity to give him osimertinib. In general, it's true that osimertinib is less toxic. That is something amazing for the patients because they just fail one of the three tyrosine kinase inhibitors. And what we tell them is that the other two cannot overcome the failure of the, of the one that they are having. So that's what, that's what had to move into osimertinib. So the patients expect that because it sounds like a stronger drug, they are going to get more side effects and they are willing to endure anything because they don't want to go to chemo. And it's amazing that the amount of rash or the amount of diarrhea uh, seems to be less than the other TKIs. So that is the reason why uh, I think the experience with osimertinib has been very good uh, for second line treatment. The phase 3 or 3 trial compared osimertinib to Grisso versus chemotherapy for patients that were T790 and positive. So these were patients that all had received a first or second generation, I think, I think just a first generation TKI, who developed progression, who had T790M that were then randomized to osimertinib versus chemo. And the benefit was huge. The response rate advantage was with osimertinib. The, progress, the progression free survival, the hazard ratio was in the 0.356 range, which is we've never seen before. We don't have data on overall survival yet, but based on that, and I think we knew this from the pool aura trials before. Um, keep in mind, osimertinib tigrisso got approved in, in November 2015. This phase three or three trial is just a you know, confirmation that it's superior to chemotherapy. Um, impressive results uh, with a drug that not only shows improvements in outcomes, but is so well tolerated compared to chemotherapy that it, again, a, a, a huge victory for science, but a better win for our patients. My experience with osimertinib has mirrored the data, which is that in around 70% of the patients that I see, uh, this drug uh, elicits a, a response rate with, with perhaps improvement of their symptoms as well. Um, uh, I've used this drug a lot. Uh, I have a high number of EGFR mutant lung cancer patients. Uh, we look for T790M aggressively uh, in the plasma when we are ready for a therapeutic switch. If they're T790M positive, of course, they get this drug. Um, but, but not only have I been impressed with, with the drug's effect, but just as impressed with the drug's tolerability. I've seen very few side effects with this drug. And for many of my patients who've struggled with the rash and diarrhea from that first generation TKI, we really don't see those signals with osimertinib. We don't see those toxicity signals. So um, for now, it's the only drug approved for T790M mutant lung cancer, and it's a good one. Uh, and it's, 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 I think it's, once you put that first patient on this drug and you see how well they do in the context of chemotherapy, you'll be reminded to test for T790M again. Uh, it, it's a, it, the drug's efficacy and tolerability is a nice reminder to look for that T790M carefully. No, we, we are very pleased that with uh, osimertinib. Uh, before osimertinib, uh, the only option that we have uh, for our patients one, was to start palliative chemotherapy as soon as they fail the tyrosine kinase inhibitor. Um, when osimertinib came available with clinical trials, like the oral trials, we were able to give the patient this benefit, and uh, usually the patients that have failed tyrosine kinase inhibitors that develop the TSA9 mutation resistant, they have a high chance of response to osimertinib even higher than palliative chemotherapy. and. Uh, and that's why we have had a very good experience. We have more than one dozen patients already treated. 
and the toxicity is very manageable. Surprisingly, uh, seems that the toxicity for the rash, for example, or the diarrhea is uh, less prevalent than the toxicity with the other TKIs, something that the patients take very uh, gladly because uh, being the fact that they have failed uh, the frontline therapy, they are expecting that because they're going to be rescued by this osimertinib, they are readily to endure any side effect. And surprisingly, there is no side effect, and then the side, all the side effects are less, and that makes uh, the quality of life uh, very good for them.